Everybody ready? Go ahead, Brian. You're a big star this week. Oh, yes, sir. How, how much fun has it been for you to just see all the response to the big game you had? Oh, it's, it's been very fun. You know, just um, looking on every app I open and I just see myself. So, you know, they just tell me, you know, keep working. You feel me? Coach told us a little bit about the FaceTime with Snoop the oh, yes, other day. Sir. Could you tell us a little bit about what was it like for you to, to get on that call? Oh, it was crazy. Um, you know, expecting Coach Prime to tell you somebody wants to you on the phone, you know, it's Coach Prime, so you know, you know who's bigger than that. So, you know, I get the phone soup on him, like, wow. So, you know, that was the whole thing was crazy. Can you share any of that conversation? Oh, yeah, he was just telling me, you know, keep working, you know, he liked what I did, you know, ain't too many people doing that. He just telling me, keep working. Coach said after the game that, you know, that could be a boost for you confidence wise, just your performance. Have you felt that at all this week in practice? Has there been a, a different energy for you going out there? Oh, it's most up, um, like Coach said, you know. Um, it's another thing when they don't expect you to do it. So now, you know, everybody expecting me to do that. So, you know, I just carry that chip on my shoulder and I'm just expecting everybody to know, you know, what I do now. Have you heard, uh, what, what have been Jimmy and Xavier been saying to you? Because Jimmy was pretty open on that, yeah. his last touchdown. It seems like, you know, your game could help them out too a little bit. Oh, it's most definitely. Um, they've been knowing I was capable of doing this, you know. they just telling me, you know, keep working, you know, don't let the outside know it get to me. You know, just keep developing me as a player and just keep doing what I do. Oh, what's it like with Shador? Oh, it's crazy. Um, Shadow is a very high-level quarterback. Not too many people like him. You know, just me, just being young, just learning from him, getting everything I can. Good what, what are some of the things he tells you and that you work on together? And um, being so young, you know, us young receivers, we don't really understand certain things. So Shadow is that type of QB. He's gonna tell you like what you need to know, what you need to do on this and that. You know, getting the right depth on your yards, on your out. I mean, and just doing what you need to do. Kind of building off that. What do you feel like your grasp of this offense is at this point? Um, just just proving myself what I can do. That's all. Um, just doing what I do best. Not really like a a grasp point of it. Just doing what I do. Did, um, Coach was saying that you really didn't practice worth a darn last week. Was the way he said it. Would you agree with that? And you know, what kind of got into you this last week? Oh yeah, I agree. I dropped a, a couple a couple easy balls last week. Um, he kind of got on me for that. You know, um, I didn't have a good practice, but could have been better. So. Just, just maintaining that. So how did how did you flip the switch once you got into the game on Saturday? Um, like like he said, be ready when your name is called. I was ready for that moment, you know. That night, like I said, I dreamed I dreamed of that making plays. So it was all like a dream for me and it came true. So that's you it. literally dreamt making plays? I dreamed it, like in a hotel after the meet, just dreaming me making plays, you know, just me celebrating in the end zone. You know, I came true, so that was crazy. Travis talked about how he was out there on Saturday kind of helping out coaching both sides of the ball. Can you talk about his mentorship and anything that he might have helped you out with during the Oh, game? yeah, Trav always helping out practice game. He was just telling me, you know, just do what I do is take over, put, him on, put the team on my back, you know. Um, not too many. Y'all don't really see it in practice, but everybody else see it. Like, these plays I've been making ain't nothing new. I've been really doing it in practice. So he's just telling me, like, keep doing what I do. It's like you and Kermani had some good one-on-one -on -one battles in fall camp uh, a couple months ago. What's that relationship been like working with him, and how much better do you guys make each other as you guys have been battling each other as freshmen here? Oh, Kermani, my dog, you know, we always work, and I'm always with him mostly every time out the facility. So, you know, just going, to go, going up against him every day is like a challenge for me, but also a challenge for him. You know, we both big time players, so it's good getting good on good. As a high school recruit, you were once committed to LSU, committed to Nebraska as well. What made you change up and want to come here? Um, Coach Corey, um, he he was there when I went to LSU. He kind of played a part, a part in that. You know, coming here, we already had a good relationship since LSU, and um, just Coach Prime, you know, building a relationship with him, him just getting to know me, and just coming here and just doing what I do. Was it fun playing against Nebraska this year? Just knowing that oh, what it could have been. Fun. I wish I could have played more, but um, just playing against them. That was crazy. Uh, wish I could score the touchdown on him, but it is what it is. One last question. Coach was talking this week about slow starts, and he said he's taking that personally himself. What has the message meant to the team, and what have you seen there? How do you guys get off to a quicker start? Um, like today, you know, today we had a good practice. Got often got off to a good start. It's all about just coming out hard, you know. Um, these last couple games, we've been kind of slow first half, so, you know, we just trying to come out hard and just destroy in the first half. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Appreciate it. Why are you scared, bro? Turned up. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, my team, Miller. Oh, my God.
I know him. I know. Say, say. Is that a boy or no? Questions for Roger? Roger, guys, you guys put the the tape on from last week's game as a defense. Um, what were you? What did you like in the second half that you, you guys flipped the switch there and were able to kind of get some stops and get off the field? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, I felt like in the second half we uh, played with better eyes. We played with better eyes. Everybody had their eyes in the right spot and we read our keys. And as you can see, when we read our keys and have our eyes in the right place, it's hard to score on us and move the ball. So that was good in the second half. Kamani was out there for. Uh, basically the whole second half. I think in the second quarter he kind of got inserted in there. Sure. Did you feel that flip switch when he got in there? Oh yeah, Cormani's a dog, man. That's my dog. I know when Cormani's in, he got he got that dog in him. So he's gonna compete every play. So just him getting in, I already knew it was gonna happen. I already knew he was gonna make plays and do what he do best. Big picture wise, sir. After a couple of losses like you guys have had playing two top ten teams, how important is this week for you guys to get back on track? Not only in the win column but to play really well. Oh, this 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 is a big game for us. Um, it has been pretty, pretty, pretty sucky that we lost the two games, but even still, we're still uh, staying together as a team. We know what it takes to win, and this week we're putting, I feel like we're putting everything together. Everybody's practicing hard, the guys, the energy going around, so I feel like this week, this week we're going to make a statement. That's when everything's going to come together. Deep is going to come out and stop the run, stop the pass. Off is going to come out and do what they do, so this week is big for us. What specifically is it going to take to win? What are the coaches telling you in your assignments this week, and what is that? Um, like I said, it's just eyes, perfect eyes, having good eyes and reading your keys. And just staying in the playbook and staying on the film, knowing what they're going to do before they do it. Stuff like that is going to help us win uh, this game. Have you been told that you're starting this week again? Uh, yeah, so I, I'm, uh, I'm starting a couple of packages. Um, it's a couple of switches we're doing, but yeah, I'm starting this week. You are coming from a place where you, you know, knew you were going to play a lot and were going to be a big part of things every week. This year you've had to adjust to kind of biding your time until you're number was called. How did you kind of uh, manage that, that that change and you know it seems like it'll be a mental challenge to do? No, yeah, it was definitely a mentally challenge. Uh, I knew coming in here I was gonna have to work. I mean coming from the school I was at I was a big fish in a small pond. Um, but yeah just coming here I knew I was gonna have to work and fight every day which I'm still doing now even though I'm in a rotation now I'm still, I'm still fighting like how it was a couple of weeks ago not to start rotation so um, it's definitely a mental a mental thing, but I just stay focused, uh, trust the keys, trust my coaches, and I believe. Coach Prime says you have to believe, and I believe, and I'm still believing. How has playing for Coach Prime looked up to your expectations? Has it surpassed it? What, what's been different? Oh, no, man, this is a dream. Uh, it's crazy because last year I was watching Jackson State in the championship game, and me and my dad was sitting there. I'm like, man, I wish I could play for Coach Prime. And it was crazy just hitting the portal and just having that, uh, that conversation with them within like the first 48 hours. It was a dream come true, so I knew as soon as I got that call, I was like, yeah, I'm coming straight to Colorado. There's no question about it. Rod, were you surprised at all seeing Omari go off last weekend? Nah, man, Omari well, does that every day in practice. I knew it was going to happen. As soon as I seen 14 in the game, I said, well, yeah, he's going to go for 200, and which he did, so I already knew it was going to happen. Speaking of the other Omari, what's Omari and Cooper done for you guys defensively? It seems like he's been you know, a pretty yeah. you know, a pretty steady guy there for your corner. Nah, Coop, Coop's a dog, man. I know y'all seen that big hit. Uh, me and him be going back and forth about who's the biggest hitter. <laughs> I still hold that uh, that belt, but no, nah, that was a good hit he put on him. But uh, no, nah, yeah, Coop's a dog, man. He's a dog. He also competes, and uh, I feel real comfortable with with uh, Coop in the game and all those guys in the game, man. But yeah, Coop's a baller for sure. What's the confidence like in the scene? Because obviously we've seen yourself and, and Cam as well come in um, in replace of Shiloh and, and Slusher the last couple weeks, and you guys have not really missed a beat there. No, yeah, we're uh, we're confident. We're uh, experienced. We're not no, we're not new to the game. So uh, and just being around Shiloh and Trevor and all of them. Like we have a good relationship, so it's like even when we watch film, we we'll watch film together, and we'll pick off of each other on certain techniques or certain things that they see and certain things that we see. And then when it comes to game time, we we'll just put it together. So it's basically like we're playing as one. When Did you look back, last question. Oh yeah, he he he, uh, he should be coming back. He's uh he's been practicing, so we'll be looking forward to him. Thanks, Rob. Yep. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob.